fellow YouTubers. Uh, I think it's probably about time we talked about EDC. First of all, I would say I'll preface this with I do not leave the house without any of these things. Literally, I do not leave the house. So, that is my most basic what I carry in my pockets on a day to day basis. Obviously, leather wallet that my wife bought me uh, for keeping your cash, for keeping your cards, and for keeping a few extras in there that you wouldn't expect. Obviously, there's the keys. People are funny about showing their keys on YouTube and stuff like that because obviously key cutters can uh, make replicas of your keys uh, if they want to by just looking at the actual patterns of them, I, I can imagine. But granted, if someone really wants to get in your house, they're going to get in your house if they're that great a locksmith anyway, so whatever. So to start with, obviously car key, it's a transit key. Keep a, a AAA battery torch that's also focusable. It's just a cheap one off of eBay and it costs probably, I don't know, £2 from China. But I've done a few mods on it. What, I could, what I've done is um, the pocket clip was uh, the variety that come, you know, pops off all the time, which I found rather annoying. Um, and it also came quite sharp. So I just took um, a diamond file and just rounded off uh, some of the sharp edges on there. And I also took, I don't know if you can see it, uh, some um, Devcon uh, two-ton epoxy and just glued this um, clip in place so it doesn't pop off anymore. I've also, on the keys, I've got like a, a ring, just a hard ring, it's not, not a split ring. It was a part of a torch, another pocket clip that I, um, took off and it's really nice and hard uh, spring steel it seems so I've got some extra little um, I don't know what you call them split rings and I hung them off of there I don't know if you can see that so basically when I want to take the torch off I can I just literally slide slide that through and it sort of holds its position because I've, I've bent the pocket clip so it can sort of hold it do you know what I mean so that stays on there quite nicely. I've also got a, a lanyard that I found underneath the seat of my old car. Um, and I just thought it was handy to, if I wanted to wear it around my neck, you know, when I'm out in the wilds, I can do that. I can just undo this knot, but I find it handy at work because it will just hang out of my pocket and I always know where my keys are because it's nice and bright and red. I've also got a Swedish Light My Fire Fire Steel, uh, the Scout model. Um, and I've cut this right down to make it a little bit more, you know, pocket friendly, let's say. Moving on, I've also got the Swiss Tech Utility Key, I think it's called. But I've got that off of eBay, um, off a Chinese supplier. I, I believe they're the actual manufacturers of them before they, you know, reach the packaging, the expensive packaging, which makes them about eight quid. I got this for a pound delivered from China, do you know what I mean? And it's exactly the same as the real thing. It's not not an imitation, it's just a non-packet version, let's say. Um, which is a great little tool. Literally comes off, it, it holds together by little little sort of um, friction action, I say. And you just clip it onto your keys. I don't know if you can see that. But the idea being, the idea being is it's um, multi multifunctional, it's got... It's got a Phillips head on it. It has got like a like a knife blade stroke uh, serrated serrated blade on it. It has got a bottle opener, uh, and it's also got a screwdriver. Uh, sorry, a Phillips head screwdriver and a flathead screwdriver on there, as you can see. But to me, it's a you know. It, you know, it adds to your keys and it adds no bulk really to your keys. Um, and it's just a handy, handy tool should you lose your knife for any reason. And literally, just literally claps on like that. Boom. So, so that's the torch, some sort of cutting device that obviously you can uh, use to scra uh, scrape the fire still. So that's your fire sorted, that's your light sorted. Uh, your keys obviously for getting, getting you access to your house. And then I've got one of these little little uh, vessels, I don't know what you call them, little keepsake things that hang onto your keychain. They're available all over YouTube, uh, YouTube, over eBay, 
um, and they just basically unscrew. They've got a little rubber gasket there. And inside that, I keep a variety of things. I keep, as you can see, uh, I keep a little, a little piece of striker for the few matches I keep in here. I've got one uh, strike anywhere, and I've also got two uh, normal safety matches. That obviously, need the striker. Uh, a couple of needles for repairs, and I've also got. A needle here with a bit of tape around it that's already got some really strong thread already attached to it ready to go for repairs again the thread is this sort of woven dacron stuff that I, I recommend everyone has because cotton is all good but this stuff is better <laughs> um, I'm not sure if you're gonna pick that out but it's, it's woven um, and it's very thin and it's so strong. I mean, if you see, and I'll take a piece of that. Do you know what I mean? That would cut into my hand if I'm going to break that. I'm literally putting all my might onto that. And you can see how thin it is. It's nothing. So I recommend you, um, you grab some of this, guys, um, and replace your, your cotton thread with it. Because cotton will rot. Um, I don't know if you can see that. Yeah. So basically I got that off of eBay again for probably, I think it was three, three or four quid and it's a massive spool. I've, um, you know, I've done lots of repairs already with my gear with that stuff. So I'd highly recommend that. Okay. So that's pretty much the keys and the keepsakes and whatever sorted. Then obviously we've got a Swiss army. I believe it's the Huntsman model. Um, I've actually taken some epoxy and I've glued the scales down because they were popping off on me and that was getting quite annoying. Um, I also highly recommend you get one of these little attachments. It's like a mini eye, um, eyeglass screwdriver. But it's also good for you know digging pieces out of um, small places and, and whatever. It's got a small flathead on it that actually did break on me so I had to doctor that and I remade that end. Um, that just literally fits inside the screwdriver, um, the uh, corkscrew, and it just adds an. It's a nice little addition, do you know what I mean, for your for your um, eye, um, for little screws and fixing your uh, sunglasses and stuff like that. All the um, all the usual on it, guys. You know, screwdriver, bottle opener, knife. I mean, I like this uh, model because it actually comes with a pair of scissors. And also a saw, and it's actually a pretty neat little saw um, on there, to be honest. And an awl for your sewing and bits. You can sharpen that up quite nicely, actually, and you can drill drill into wood well with it. Um, and also this hook that I didn't really have a use for, and until I started using it on my tent pegs, it really makes a good good way of pulling your tent pegs out without stressing the the fabric in and around your tarpaulins, guys. So. With all this, I'll just quickly put this back in. Oh yeah, sorry, I, I forgot to mention. In this keepsake as well, I uh, I carry a few flints in there for my Zippo as well, which I normally carry, but I'm not at the moment because I'm trying to cut down on the old smoking. Okay, so yeah, a few matches. Your striker, so you got your fire, well covered. Should anything go tits up in the uh, world as we know it. <laughs> uh, and you wouldn't even know it's there, like I say. Literally screws onto your, your bit there. And you won't even know that's there. You can just wear that with them. Um, wear that and be happy. Okay, so that is my most basic set of items. Obviously including the Zippo. Which is just the plain silver, Ooh. plain silver zippo. Alright guys, really basic. So that's what I consider my EDC. You not leave the house without that in my pockets and you can go anywhere with that because obviously this is UK legal. It's below three inches the blade and it's non-locking. A slip joint folder so you'll be fine with that in the UK you don't need a reason to carry that obviously if you're going to be pulling it out 
brandishing it, threatening someone with it, it automatically becomes an offensive weapon in the police's eyes. But then again, so can a pencil if you're threatening someone with a pencil. So you can carry one of these without any issues. Okay, yes, and obviously the wallet, I forgot to mention, has a few goodies in it. Obviously I'm a pauper, so I only carry five pounds. Um, but I've also got, as I mentioned earlier, a card, which is also useful for um, Jimmy and George, you know, if you leave your keys and stuff like that. A nice little card that you can um, mess up, you know, without messing up a bank card, let's say. That is obviously the cordage I've uh, spoke about already. Very strong for making with flares, um, say if you split your crotch or whatever. <laughs> uh, I've also got a pencil. Obviously I'm a carpenter, so I'm always losing pencils and bits and pieces. I've got a, is it a mini or a micro? I can't remember if it's a mini or a micro USB. I always get these wrong. I think it's a micro USB. Just a small flat charger. Charge your phone up really quickly with that. And also, your knife would be useless unless you carried a small way of honing it, and that's just this very small DMT diamond stone. Okay, uh, that is it for that pocket. Um, just various cards, obviously, driving license and all that good stuff. Uh, I also carry some paper, because obviously if you need to take notes, that is your way of doing so. Carry some plasters, a couple of plasters. I'm always cutting myself, obviously. Uh, obviously, if you run out of paper, you can also write on some just some Rizzlers. And uh, Rizzlers, uh, because I'm a smoker, I'm always losing them as well, so Rizzlers are quite handy. Okay, what else have I got? Um, I've also got a few of these tabs, guys. They are um, little double-sided foam, sort of sticky, sticky strips, which are really handy in... Um, in repairing things, I mean, I've actually, uh, they're really, really strong glue in them. Um, I can't remember where I got them, uh, but they've come in really handy for for multiple repairs. Um, and, you know, you know, they don't wear anything, so they're quite handy to carry in themselves. Okay, what else have I got? Obviously some money. Uh, also carry another card with various gaffer tapes around. I've got this, this one that's almost got like uh, fiberglass sort of going through it which is a very strong repair tape um, and good for waterproofing things as well, along with some Gorilla tape. Um, you know, except no substitutes really, guys. Uh, there is duct tapes out there, you know, uh, gaffer tapes, whatever, but I find the Gorilla tape is absolutely fantastic. Um, I broke my roof box when we were away. I split it and I just used some of this gaffer, t uh, sorry, Gorilla tape to to seal um to seal the crack you know it was a big long crack you know a good sort of 12 inch crack um and you know we were driving at 100 miles an hour at times with that roof box on top of the the transit van and that it stayed i couldn't believe it in hot weather i had no problems with it so for you know it is expensive the gorilla tape but it is also the best and that is the same role i've had <laughs> probably for five or six years you know what i mean i i use it and and um and reuse it you know and obviously you don't have to use massive amounts you can just rip tiny tiny little strips off there and just do tiny repairs you know i've even my friend almost cut his thumb off and i um i used some of this to to keep his thumb back on when um i tried giving him a gift of an axe uh they say he didn't keep the axe because i confiscated it soon after he nearly chopped his finger off that's another story so there's that uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. And I think that is about it, um, guys. Um, obviously, a few coins as well. Again, a pauper, so I don't carry much. So all in all, with these items, I find myself quite covered for a day-to-day -day sort of basis. Um, little fiddly repairs, whatever. Um, you don't want to get caught short without having a few basic items on you because... Let's face it, it's so easy to carry that there's no excuse not to really be carrying them. Do you know what I mean? Um, I've surprised a lot of people, you know, pulling out a plaster here or pulling out a Rizzler paper there. And, you know, it's nice to be able to help people, you know, and you can see there someone is lacking something and, you know, it really helps to just, you know, even a needle I had um, one day and these guys were looking at me saying, you know, why do you carry a needle and thread on you? And I was just like, you know, why not? And I think from then on he probably would be carrying one. 
So it's just good to be able to help people out, isn't it? So that, 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 and that. It's nothing extra to your, your daily loadout, is it? So that is the EDC. I also wanted to get on to talking about, uh, well, this. It's the Max Possession Active Shooters bag. 